All right, thanks so much, guys. We are talking about getting your hair colored this morning. We are live at Capellini, excuse me, Capelli Hair Salon and Spa. Andrea is with me. She is one of the stylists, and we are just diving right into it this morning. But first, what is the difference between getting your hair dyed and getting your hair colored? Well, honestly, there's really no difference. Okay. Dye is really just kind of an old school term for coloring. Um, it's Sounds good. Coloring is more of an updated, more progressive term, but really, all in all, dyeing is the same process. Um, you're still putting pigment into the hair the same way as you would be to coloring. Sounds good. And now, I've heard semi-permanent color, permanent color. About how long does it last? Um, permanent color lasts anywhere from four to six weeks. Okay. Um, Semi-permanent, it, it kind of, it varies. Um, anytime you have a dark pigment and you're, you're, you're filling the hair shaft, um, it, it all depends on the client, how often she's washing her hair, sure. if she's active, um, all that plays a part in it. But generally, you can expect it to last around four weeks. Sounds good. Now we have our beautiful model, Courtney, with us this morning, who I think just has some gorgeous hair, but we are going to change the color on it today. We've got um, some hair dye, hair color. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now it's white. Yes. She's not getting white hair this morning, though, is she? <laughs> no, she's not. What we're actually going to do, we've pre-consulted with her. Um, she wants to keep her length, so, but all we we're going to, all we're going to do is freshen up her natural dark brown. Okay. Um, but she wants to add a little bit of, um, highlights to them. She's never Sounds had good. highlights before, so we're going to put a few, uh, caramelly high, uh, highlights in there. Pretty. And then we're going to freshen up the brown with may maybe like a, uh, mocha mocha type brown Ooh, that's gonna sound gorgeous mm -hmm. that sounds absolutely beautiful so what do we do first uh we mentioned that we already had our cons cons consultation yes um so from here i've already got my color mixed up i'm going to section her hair off and then we're going to put the foils in first i always okay. like to foil hair when you foil hair you can get much closer to the root and is that foiling hair compared to sometimes i've seen people with the cap and you pull it out yes the little strands out yes okay. you can get much closer with the foil than you can with the cap it lasts a lot longer um, when you can get closer to the root, generally when you do highlights, you can go probably at least eight weeks oh, wow. um, before having to have them retouched. I was saying, because I can see the, the, the roots would come in if you can't get quite as close. That's exactly right. Uh, now, uh, you mentioned that you're highlighting her hair first. Yes. Uh, compared to doing the all over color? That's correct. If you do the all over color first and then go back, mm -hmm. um, you're double processing the hair. Hmm. So that causes more damage to the hair. If you put the highlights in first with the foil, you can color around it, and okay. that eliminates the double processing. Sounds like it would seem uh, to be a much more natural look, too, since you are probably keeping a little bit of that natural hair color through. It is, and you can, and, and that looks real good. And actually, that's what we're going to do today as there well. We're going to keep out some of her natural just to give it a little bit of a variation. All right. Well, we are going to be sectioning off Courtney's hair. We're going to be showing you an update coming up here live a little bit later in Good Day. But we're doing the whole thing right here live on Good Day. Kelly, back on over to you. Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. We are live here at Capelli Hair Salon. Again, it means hair in Italian, so we're just getting the professional treatment this morning. Courtney is here with us. She's being, what a trooper, looking like an alien this morning on live TV. But, Andrea, give us a little update. What have you done so far? Uh, put a little bit of aluminum foil, but we're not... Uh Getting any TV reception <laughs> on her head, are we? No, right now we're putting in the highlights, and we're about to be finished doing that. As soon as I get the last foil in, uh, we'll start put in, putting the uh, hair color in between the packets and all over the rest of the hair. Okay, so again, this is, uh, so we don't over-process the hair. We don't yeah. double-process it. Double-process right. it, that's mm -hmm. the term. So it's not like we're going to let the highlight set. We're going to let it all set all at once. Yes. Gotcha. Now, you are doing this, such an interesting technique. Maybe it's all the professional hairstylists do it. I'm not really sure, but uh, you're weaving in and out um, each little hair section. Yes. This is uh, to create a more natural look. Um, the bigger the weave, the more defined the highlights will be. Okay. Um, the smaller the weave, the more natural it's going to look. And we're going for a more natural approach with her hair today. Sure. And, again, you're using the aluminum foil pieces. I've mm -hmm. seen some people use, I guess, like a... Looks like a shower cap they're putting on their head and pulling it through. Why use that or why not compared to these aluminum foil pieces? Well, the foil, with the foil, it allows you to get a lot closer to the root. Okay. Um, I can feather the lightener out towards the, um, the top over here. Um, and it just allows you to go longer and it looks more natural. You don't already have, when you pull the cap off, you won't have a little 
um, gap in between. Sure. Because um, nobody wants to show their roots, right? That's right. We want it to look <laughs> like it's all natural. Um, but talk to me about, about how long this entire process is going to take, start to finish. Um, general, probably about an hour to hour and a half. Mm -hmm. um, that's including blow, blowing out. Sure. And if, if people come in and they say, hey, I want to get my hair colored, mm -hmm. but they have no idea what would look good on them. Or maybe they come in and they've got this beautiful idea and you say, yeah, maybe that wouldn't look so hot on you. <laughs> Did you guys give advice on that? Absolutely. Um, the biggest part of coming in is the consultation. Okay. Um, I, you know, all of us here want to help the client get what they're sure. looking for in any way we can um, and we're definitely here to offer suggestions um, right. to help get the best look. Do people have to come in for a consultation before they come in to get their hair colored? No. Okay. No, you, you, can all schedule, you can, absolutely. Sounds good. Again, you've kind of sectioned off her hair in a V section. This is just for the highlights though. Yes. Why do it in a V? Um, this is for placement of the highlights. Okay. Um, so basically, the way I have it sectioned off now, we kind of just want them through the top, mm -hmm. um, just for just to brighten it up around the face. Um, so we're just uh, putting them through this the crown area right here, good. and through the side. No need to do the whole head since our hair is this long. No. All no. righty. Well, we are going to be checking in live here at Kelly Hair Salon, seeing our beautiful Courtney get even more beautiful this morning. Kelly, back on over to you. All right, guys, we are live here once again at Capelli Hair Salon. Uh, Courtney's looking a bit more like an alien now, and Andrea, I've noticed you're doing a little dance around here her this morning. Um, moved on from the highlights to her full head hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now we're applying the um, the base color. Okay. Um, and we're just going in between the packets, hitting the root. Um, I'm going to be mimicking... Um, what you might have heard recently and seen recently, the ombre technique. Uh -huh. um, what we're going to do is keep the root darker. Okay. And then at the shampoo bowl, when we rinse it out later, I'm going to kind of rinse the color through the ends. But oh, I don't want the cool. ends to be um, as dark as the root. Okay, I was going to say, because I've noticed you put all the... the I guess concentrated color. <laughs> I don't know all the, all the exact terminology, but her ends here are still dry. And is that how the the look, the the darker to lighter look, is going to be coming through? Um, pretty much. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna we're gonna keep the root area concentrated so it deepens up and gets darker. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pull it through in just a minute through the mid shaft gotcha. here, and then at the shampoo, I am gonna rinse it through the ends, but I'm not gonna leave it on long. So it kind of is gonna act like a toner, but it won't be as deep as the root. Very neat. Now going back to the highlights, because mm -hmm. we didn't do a full head of highlights. Yes. And that is because her hair's longer. Shorter hair might need some? Um, yes, yeah, she doesn't necessarily need a full head of highlights. Um, because her hair is all one length. Okay. Um, if you have layered hair, it's it, you can definitely do a full head because the layers are shorter, so you'll you'll see more more sure. of the hair underneath is exposed. Um, for somebody like Courtney who has longer hair, if they want to see um, highlights when they pull their hair up, mm -hmm. um, you can also just add highlights around the the bottom edge of the okay. hair around Sounds the good. neckline. Now this ombre look, um, I've seen it, you know, magazines, New York, all the runways seem to have it. Now, of course, Courtney will be having it down mm -hmm. here, but what other looks are we are we seeing these days? Um, right, really about the same as, as the past couple of years. Every, okay. Everybody's still staying real natural. Um, you see a lot of deep brunettes, um, mm -hmm. just rich chocolate browns, mocha browns. Sure. Um, natural blondes. You don't see a lot of um, bleached out uh, sure. per se. Uh, you can be very blonde without just just straight bleaching mm -hmm. it and it can look really, really great. It right. seems like summertime everybody wants to go blonde. How about mm -hmm. now that we're getting in these colder months? I mean, Christmas is right around the corner. You know, 2013 is going to be here before we know it. Are, are we seeing the same darker colors? Yeah, uh, it tends to when you, when the colder months come around, a lot of people want to experiment with mm -hmm. going a little bit darker for the for the winter. Um, I personally think it. I don't normally go by that. Okay. Uh, just generally, I like to see, you know, consult with the client and kind of offer suggestions as to what might look the best on their skin tone. Certainly. Um, but you know, generally, uh, lots of people like to try. Try new things as the seasons change. Sounds good. Now you are a professional colorist. 
Yes, I guess. Um, how about other services that y'all offer? Um, can you get, do you do uh, professional straightening, um, things uh, like that? Yes, we offer a Brazilian blowout. And um, what is that? Is that where you get it professionally straightened? Yes. Okay. Um, and the good thing about the Brazilian blowout is that unlike the other permanent straighteners, like the Japanese straightening, um, when it grows out, you will not have a line of demarcation. So okay. your root won't be curly while the, the <laughs> ends are straight. It, it kind of wears off all the all together, okay. and it lasts about uh, eight to eight to twelve weeks. Oh wow! And would that completely eliminate the need for a hair straightener? Absolutely. Um, frizz will be gone. Good. <laughs> smooth hair. You'll have completely smooth hair, hassle-free. Won't need a flat iron or anything. You can walk out in the rain and. Not worry about frizz. Goodness. All right. Well, hopefully we won't need that. Hopefully Chris won't be having any rain in our forecast for us. But we've got to get Courtney all finished up so we can show you the final product. Hopefully, if not, there will be a picture on my Facebook page coming up later here on Good Day. First, Kelly, back on over to you. We've just washed everything out, mm -hmm. and right now we're just going to get it about 80 to 90 percent dry. Uh, just kind of using our hand, my hands here, sure, um, just to get the air moving through it. In the end, I'm going to um, touch it up with a round brush, which will polish off the ends and give it some volume. Sounds great. Uh, again, her hair was beautiful beforehand, but now, I mean, it's still a little wet, but you can definitely see the darker color, those highlights. Such a great. Not necessarily pop of color, but it certainly highlights the face, accents it absolutely lovely. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Absolutely. And so if folks want to come on down, of course they can get their hair colored by you. Uh, talking about time frame, I'm sure that with the holidays and stuff, people are going to want to get in, you know, maybe between shopping and stuff. But again, mm -hmm. how long does it take to, to get all this done? Um, to do something like we did uh, for Courtney today, you can... Mm, count on about an hour and a half from okay. start to absolute finish out the door. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Always taking uh, appointments? Uh, absolutely. Wonderful. <laughs> now, we use the foil technique on Courtney to get this uh, this look. Yes. Uh, in addition to coloring, you also do straightening. Yes, I do the Brazilian blowouts. Um, that generally, you can expect to be in here for about two, two and a half hours, okay. depending on the length and the density of the hair. Sounds good. Um, yeah, it's just it's real great to control frizz. Um, Make and, it look lovely. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, what kind of upkeep is Courtney going to need to use? Will she need to use a special shampoo for, for colored hair? Uh, can she blow dry it? Can she curl it? Do all that stuff? Uh, the oh, same? yeah. She can style it just the same. Um, she, I would recommend a, a shampoo with a low pH, so anything okay. uh, anything pretty much in a professional line is going to be color safe. Okay. Um and yeah, she is just she's free to do style it however she so normally good. would style it. <laughs> Wonderful. And again, she should probably come back in about you said eight weeks or so to get, get yeah. touched up. Her, her highlights, she should be able to go at least eight weeks, some maybe even longer. Wow, that is great. Well, what a great year way to start off the new year. Get a little early start, but uh, a new year, a new you, a new look, all that good stuff. All right, well, thanks so much, ladies, for hey, waking up with us early this morning live on Good Day. You guys saw from start to finish uh, the color, the highlight. We did it all here. We're going to let her dry her hair up and get an absolutely gorgeous finished look. I'll be posting a final product picture on my Facebook page, so be sure to check it out. Back to you guys in the studio.